Gabbard on first down. Stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today. They've got to think about changing up their play. Gabbard now from the 50. He's got time. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. A loss of a yard, and it brings up reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Well, pretty woeful there, just 23 yards on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. They hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on. It. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Cooper's got it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add a little extra at the end with a short run. See if they stay on the ground for second down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Michael Crabtree, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. So a costly penalty and now a tougher third down situation. Throwing his car on third down. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. Back now in the East Bay. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Here's Marquette King now as he's on to punt for Oakland. <laughs> Gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he didn't, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if something got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Gabbert now on 
on second down. And to the left side here, Wilson. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Fresh set of downs here. A first down throw for Gabber. A dump off to Forte. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Marshall, the lone receiver on the left side. Again, it's Gabbard. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And the offense lining up first and 10. First down, Gabber. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Right side, there's Decker. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll take a break and get a report from Oakland after this. Offense comes. First and ten. On first and ten, Gabbard drops it underneath to Forte. Hey, right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy on the flat. Hey, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. They'll throw again. Gabbard. And that one incomplete as it breaks a string of eight straight pass completions. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks rob the ball of their hands fast in this position and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Well, he's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's... And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. LeGarrette Blunt with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Jets are able to close the gap just a bit. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Now Bullock to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28-14. to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Jets' defense, we watch them get set to go now. They'll be hoping to come up with that same type of effort they had last time when they forced the punt that led to a touchdown. And that type of effort just continues to carry over because once you get it done once, you feel like you can do it again and again. It's no guarantee, 
but you got to like the confidence that they take back out into the field. Now will they keep that confidence? Time to find out. They'll run it now out of the gun. He takes this for three to the 29. Second down following the run. First times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So, and I think the ball's out. This is complete. Hello. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Jets take possession. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score more to watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So now first and 15. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. From the shotgun, it's Gabbard. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. You drop an eight. Where are you going to go with the football? Pass incomplete. The tight end, Luke Wilson, was the target. And that takes us from second to third down. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. They go play action for Murray. Now Carr. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. and 10. Here's Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Andre Holmes that time. And that'll bring up second down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Throwing now is Carr. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. And that's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts, and that brings up fourth down. Here's Marquette King now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. Well, that was pretty nice to watch if you like a defense's perspective, because they understood where the first down line was as much as the offensive guys did. 
did not give up any more ground, and when the ball was thrown, reacted really well and swatted it away. One of the advantages of zone defense, you never take your eyes off the quarterback, and when he reacts, you do exactly the same and go get the ball. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And in enemy territory last time through the interception, we'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How, how much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over, but that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Yeah, and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Buster Screen. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it, though. And he's not able to get away. Gabbard sacked. Khalil Mack in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Marshall, the lone receiver on the left side. Third down, Gabbard. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Desperation time. Gabbard on fourth. And Marshall's got it. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. An incredible play there on fourth down. 49 yards. We know it's tough enough to pick up first downs on third down plays. But when you go for it on fourth down, sometimes you're actually just praying. And on that play, the prayer was answered. Now Gabbert. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. That would have set him back nearly 10 yards here on what? first down of the sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just oh, hates yeah, that because they feel like they didn't yeah. protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. Oh, no. It's a really difficult task. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. A 
I'm sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right. A sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little touchdown. A 10-play drive that time, and it's capped off by a Matt Forte touchdown run. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. They'll run it now out of the gun. Fighting through. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That would... No. Slow the fuck down, boy. It's not funny. Take it easy going right through here. Don't go in the water, stay next to the edge, don't hit the rock. Eat that, told you not to hit the rocks. Let's park it right here. There's the boat. Go up there to that boat. You can drive my submarine. You want to see the sharks? You have to go way out there to do that.
Goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this up. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. A couple of Jets there in on the stop. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. <laughs> Six yards here to go for the offense on line, second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. the penalty it's Murray and he'll get it out now the Jets are going to burn another timeout that'll be their second so one more chance to stop the clock here and we'll be back well, actually I haven't even had any of it yet Raina Raina just loaded, loaded it I was getting ready to smoke it here in a little bit so the offense has it first I'm and trying to finish this game real quick okay. yeah They'll run it now, out of the gun. Murray fighting, lost the football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just get credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Finding time. And he hits on the slant route to Marshall. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Uh-oh, the and Jets are trying to tie it. yards on that one. And the Jets are going to have a first down. And quickly, they get to the line. Getting close. Oh, I got a get a throw off. He's taken down. What a he's huge a play at this point play. in the game. And they're 44. I'm not going to to throw. Surveying the field. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Jahan Ward in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. He's back to throw. He's got time in the pocket. Great protection. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought... Now, hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. season will continue and they'll lose a yard that time and that's going to lead to a third down Three. 
And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Car down to a knee, and that ought to just about do it. Well, Charles, we saw a comeback bid fall just a little short, but give them credit, they were able to hold on, withstand that comeback, and ultimately win it by the slim margin. And bottom line, when it's all said and done, they don't ask you how much you won by. They just want to know, did you win? And that they did. So for Oakland, they continue to cruise through this first half of the schedule as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Buffalo Bills next week. Meanwhile, for the Jets, the loss will drop them to 6-2 now on the year. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Tennessee Titans. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Black Hole celebrates the Raiders are winners here as we say so long from Oakland. Now let's take a minute to see how you can improve your team. Scouting points are earned every week. Make sure you use all of your points. A portion of your remaining points will be lost when you advance the week. Now let's take a minute to see how you can improve your team.